Are you ready to go into the desert? This is Father John Hollowell, and this is the first Sunday of Lent. And in our gospel today, Jesus is driven out into the desert by the Holy Spirit and is tempted by the devil out there. And I think uh, this obviously is what happens to us every Lent in a special way. We are tempted and most of us give up stuff uh, for Lent. Maybe it's uh, whatever that might be. Uh, maybe it's candy or desserts or you know something more radical than that even. Uh, but again, that, that is uh, just trying to build up in us. Uh, a, a not an over, I think a lot of times we get overly attached to the things of this world and so this period of Lent is a special way to kind of prepare uh, for separating ourselves from the comforts of the world. I know as I've uh, gone through 44 Lents now, um, I've, I've found them to be really, it, this is, I hear from a lot of Catholics too that they love Lent, they're looking forward to Lent, they look forward to this detraction, de detaching from things that they love. And, and so again, I think it's important just to, to think about what am I giving up for Lent? If, if I fall, does that mean that this Lent fast is over? I think that obviously that's not the case. And, and so again, once you fall, if you, if you do fall from any of your Lenten promises, the devil is going to tell you, oh, well, you, you, you failed, you, you, you're a loser, you know, you, you should just quit. But again, I think it's important to just get back on the horse if you do fall off uh, any of your Lenten commitments. And again, also, I think there's a really important thing in our first reading. The first four weeks of Lent, we hear in our first readings about these different covenants, right? And so our first reading uh, today will be the covenant uh, that God establishes with Noah in, in the flood. And then the next week will be the, uh, the covenant that God establishes with Abraham. And then the following week, our first reading will be the covenant that God establishes with King David. And so again, what we see in these uh, covenants in our first readings is this ability God eventually starts to expand. So he starts with uh, a married uh, a family, and then the next covenant um, with Abraham is a tribe, and then with David, the covenant becomes an entire kingdom. And then obviously Jesus uh, is the final in the new covenant, um, which is, of course is now opens it all to the whole world. So again, are we, are we recognizing that we are invited into this new covenant as we hear about these covenants throughout the next four, four weeks or so, do we recognize that we've been invited to this new covenant and that we're supposed to be going and spreading that invitation to everyone that we meet? So again, uh, know of our prayers. There's some questions below uh, for you guys to discuss with your groups and let us know if we can do anything for you. God bless.